Pro Tools has finally gone to the dark side. <laughs> I am your daughter. So Pro Tools 20.11 now has this cool dark mode to it. And you can see that even the icons have changed a bit. They look a bit more flat, a bit more modern overall. Check out the color here. Whenever you go to your plugins list, okay, see what that looks like here. Now I'm on Windows, so it would be nice if they would eventually get rid of this Chrome here on each of our uh, uh, windows. On Mac, this actually looks even, uh, even better. Uh, let's head over to the uh, mix page here. So our, our meters look about the same, okay? Of course, nice dark background, change colors just as we could uh, normally and change of brightness, overall saturation, all that stuff. Let me switch back over here, guys. So your brightness right there. Now, never fear if you don't like this uh, dark user interface, you can always switch back. So come up here to setup and preferences. And by the way, the UI dark theme is going to be the default. So there might be a lot of people switching, uh, switching over. So here under display, you'll see UI theme, dark. Again, that's gonna be the default. Switch back to classic here. And of course, in classic Pro Tools style, you have to restart. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that so we can see the, uh, so we can see the classic UI setting. And there you go. So we're back to our classic UI setting, if that is what you prefer. So. You know, if you don't like the new dark mode, no big deal. You can always switch back. But uh, for those of us who actually do like a bit of a darker interface, it is nice that Avid has given us this uh, this option. Let me come back. I'm going to switch back again. And we're back to the cool new dark mode here in Pro Tools. Now, it would be nice if in the future they did something like some other DAWs do, like Studio One, for example, where you can just use a slider and you can really sort of get a custom color, custom background. And of course you don't have to restart, but either way, it's a good first step for Avid uh, to give us the new dark mode. Again, setup, preferences, display, and you'll find that right here. So classic is how it's always been, or the new dark mode, which again is the default here in Pro Tools 2020.11.